Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. Good morning everyone. It is now the next day. Um, I really didn't feel much after I think I showed you dinner. Maybe that's the last thing you saw. It was delicious by the way. But I did manage to get two shirts embroidered out. The other one I already packaged up. This one I need to get into a priority um, envelope but I'm out of them. I can't find them and I normally order a ton so I just went ahead and ordered some more and I also ordered the priority flat right flat um, bubble mailers because I thought I've never tried those I usually just do the cardboard anyway listen to me I'm still sick I'm I've got something else now <laughs> oh. okay so like I went to the doctor, right? I have the upper, upper respiratory infection. Um, yeah, and he gave me some antibiotics, and I had a urinary tract infection, and he said I have fluid behind my ears, which, you know, usually comes along with having stuffiness and crap in your head. <laughs> so... I just, I, um, my nose is running. I constantly have that feeling I have to sneeze. And this ear is stopped up. And, yeah, so, wee! It's so much fun. Um, we're supposed to go to South Carolina Comic Con tomorrow. And that's where my husband, he went today to go get the passes and stuff. Because he's taking the droids. I'm going through receipts. Um, yeah, so hopefully, and I was supposed to go with him this morning, I was, and then when I, I didn't sleep well, like, at all, I kept waking up, and one, like, if I lay down this side, you know, my ear was hurting, this was all stopped up, and anyway, so this morning I was just like, you can go ahead and go, I'm not gonna go, so Sterling went with him, and she went into a five and dime store that was over there, which she had been wanting to go to. Anyway, I'm just going through receipts, trying to clean up. I just got Journey down for her. It's actually her morning nap. She did take a nap for like, I wouldn't even say 10 minutes this morning. But I've got her right there on the monitor. I just laid her in the bed. So she's in there. Um, she usually sleeps with white noise on, so helps her sleep. I'm just going through all this. Um, I'm trying to clean up a little bit here. I've got orders I gotta work on. I gotta make a hot heat tutu. And I feel like crap. Help me. Later. It is now like four, quarter after four. I dropped Starly off at her grandma and papa's house. Um, we went to the post office and I picked up some of the flat rate envelopes. They only had like five or six. I just took whatever they had. I I just placed an order today um, from, yeah, the USPS website for the, um, some more boxes and the envelopes. But anyway. So, um, today is the what, 23rd? So, Journey turned five months old two days ago on Wednesday. And I just want to do a quick little update because, you know, I like to do these mainly for us to look back on. So, right now she's laying on the floor. Here, I'll show you. Who is that? Who's that girl? Who is 
Gracie. You know her? You know him. <laughs> Starting to get fussy. She's got hiccups. Um. Anyway, so I don't know how much she weighs because she don't have a checkup until next month in April when she has her six month six month checkup next month. Um. So I don't have a weight. I don't have a height or anything like that. Um, she still wears about the same as she did at her four month, um, which is some six months, but mostly nine months. Um, this outfit that she has on right now is a six month Carter's and she's got two of them like this. So they're just like the button up and then they don't have feet. So as you can see, yeah. Fits her pretty good. It fits you pretty good, but we have bought several. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But we have bought several nine month um, sleepers and six to nine. A lot of the six to nine month sleepers do not fit her. They are too small. So I think it depends on the brand because I know a couple of them were some odd Bali brands that we normally don't buy but it came from Burlington but she is very close to sitting up um, but she ha she she don't like to roll over she don't she's rolling she has rolled over like probably four or five times but she don't like to roll over. I don't know what it is. She gets mad. And she'll just do this. That's one of her favorite things to do. Are you happy now? Hey, let's turn this way so we can have a different light on us. But, um... So she's not into rolling. I don't know what it is. I it will come soon enough. Um, she does know how to roll, but she just don't like to roll. And this is one of her favorite toys. Is that one of your favorites? Oh, and we got Sophie. Um, this she does like, but it's like not one of her favorites. You like it because it makes noise, huh? She does grab things with both hands. And now she's look here mom let me chew on that she's definitely teething you're definitely mm. teething I probably say within the month she'll probably have some teeth sprouting up because you can see it underneath her gums um, what else can we say about you well, missy mm. she likes to eat definitely likes mm. to eat um, yesterday and today, she actually had banana, like a real banana, like, you know, not a puree banana. Oh, you threw your selfie. I always has to be sitting up. Don't you? You always have to be sitting up. Are you hungry? You probably are hungry. Okay, got her situated. I'm hungry. Um, she is mainly breastfed. Um, she does eat. I have been trying to feed her every day now that she is five months old. But um, she, I didn't feed her yesterday just because I didn't feel good and yeah, you know, had to get work done and so she does like to eat. Um, I say sweet potatoes and carrots are probably her favorite. And um, yesterday she tried banana, like Charlie was eating a banana and I took off a couple chunks and gave it to her and she liked it. So then today I cut up a banana and put it in my cereal in the morning. I usually don't use a full one. And so I just took her little spoon and, you know, scraped some of the banana off and fed it to her with a spoon. And she liked it. Yeah. So, she is getting the hang of eating, definitely. Um, she knows when she's going to get fed. She sees the little 
container and gets excited and then of course she opens her mouth voluntarily when we go to feed her um what else I don't know like I always forget what I said in the past ones to um update on so um she did get her little I'm looking at it, her little turtle so she did get that little turtle and for the most part she likes it she likes to be standing up in there and playing with toys she loves to be sitting up always um she if you lean her back she's always trying to push herself forward but yeah she's she's a sweet girl and we definitely are blessed we're blessed to have you Sleepy, her eyes are rolling around. So, guess what time it is? It's time for some sweet potatoes. <laughs> I put it up so I could see if it was hot, and she was like ready for it. It's like, Mama, don't tease. Oh, what? What? What's up? Mm -hmm. That good stuff? <laughs> yeah? Mmm, <laughs> somebody loves her sweet potato. So it is 7.01 right now. Mm -hmm. My husband just come home and then he left. He's going to go get us something to eat. We're going to have a takeout night. I'm going to go get us cheeseburgers. And Stone's not home yet. But tomorrow is the con. So he's going to be getting everything mm -hmm. ready to go. We're packing a cooler. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have to pack up his droids. And we're going to have to bust out your stroller. Mommy have to pack you some stuff to keep you occupied. It's, it's, it's a long day when you go to cons. Because <sighs> I can't leave. I guess I could leave and then come back. But I don't want to leave because it's in Greenville. Mommy don't like driving in Greenville. Who are we kidding? Mama don't like driving at all, does she really? <laughs> huh. Yeah. Yeah. That good stuff. And then I have to work on one order. Actually, I have more than one that I need. But, like, um, they're weekend orders. So, when orders come in on the weekend... If they don't go out, like if they ordered on a Saturday or Sunday, and if I don't get them out on that s Saturday, they'll go out Monday, so. That's so delicious. As I set the camera down, I just noticed this is here, and I used it. I don't recommend it at all. Thumbs up your needle. Hey guys, it is now 8 o'clock. I am feeling like crap, but <laughs> I am working in the So What Pro, and I thought I would just share this with you. Um, I've had a couple of people ask for tutorials on doing the So What Pro and adding names and all that, and I will get to that. Just let me get better, let me get well. <laughs> um, because right now, like, my sinuses just are dripping so bad. Like, when you're first getting a cold, now this is day, like, what, 15 for me of this cold. So, um, I know it's not unless I'm, like, getting something else other than what I have. But, anyway. So, uh, it's just terrible. Um, this little girl's name is capital K-E with an apostrophe and then a capital A. 
and then S-I-A-H. And this font, everybody asks what about this font. It is called, what is it called? Sarah, maybe? Um, I think it is Sarah. There's a link down below, I think. If there's, yeah, I think there's a link down below. Um, anyway, so, I don't, there's no apostrophe in the letters. I mean, it don't have an apostrophe. So I'm making one. Basically, you can make a one out of whatever little thing. But I thought this one might work good right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And also the A. I already altered the A. Um, the A. Here, I'll just move this. Oh, I forgot. I'm already in this. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Okay, close. We don't want to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over here, but I will show you what the A, the A did look like this with all of these. Um, so I just already got rid of those. So, um, the Q, so here's my Q, I want to turn it into an apostrophe. So I'm gonna go up, and you guys can't see. Sorry. Um, I'm going to edit and I'm going to split pattern and when I do that this bar right here comes up with an eraser and I'm going to go ahead and click off the alphabet because I don't need it no more and this is the last letter so it's this one right here oop, 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 right here so I just clicked on that so if I clicked on that's my A, that's my H, that's my Q um, so I have my Q Sorry about this angle, it's like bad. I have you like up on some tape and all kinds of stuff. But, so I'm gonna click on my eraser. So I got my eraser and I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. Cause I don't need that part. And I think I'll go about there. I think that looks pretty good. I could go smaller, maybe just a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm done with that, and I'm going to go up here and hit close, and it's going to ask me, do you wish to perform pending erasures before closing? Um, yes, so there we go. And now I just need to turn it the way I want it, which is going to be that. Uh, 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 let's see. Mm, let me. Uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna put it up a little higher. Uh, maybe I might turn a little bit. I know you guys can't even see. I'm oh, so sorry. My husband just came home too. So there's my apostrophe, or my makeshift apostrophe. And I have done this before, so I know it works. Um, but yeah, there we go. And this is going to be the name. And now I'm just going to take the whole thing and center it up. So there it is. Um, you can like, there's um, the fonts. You can take the H that's got the swirly and hoops. And I'm not going to do that because this name is so big already. Um, and plus, I think for some reason on some of them, when you do all of that, it looks weird on them. So, um, there's one that I just did. Oh, don't got my apostrophe in there. There's one that I just did that the name was weird. And I was like, why is this looking so weird? It's not moving my apostrophe. That's okay. I think that's good. Make sure it's centered. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start, stop fooling with it and I'm gonna save it. Oh, I had people ask about that too. Um, so it depends on where you're saving it. Let me, sorry if this is terrible, um, camera, cameraing. Okay, file. I'm gonna save as. I already have my jump drive in there, so it automatically pulls up my jump drive. And then you can name it whatever you wanna name it. So. I'm just gonna name it as K. It really don't matter just as long as there's not another file. 
that's on my jump drive so with the same name save so now file open and one thing I love about so what pro is when you have your files even on your computer on a jump drive whatever like I can click on them and I can view them so this is one I made for journey with um well, you know that dude <laughs> curious George and I was just playing around one day she's not gonna have a curious George birthday party but this was before I even had her I made this and I thought I might just make that as a sample but when I was shut down <laughs> ain't gonna happen um here's a Pinkie Pie a Dory so every time um I have to um, put names and stuff depends it depends on the size of the file or the shirt I should say really um, so like things like this which is um, this is gonna take up a whole five by seven let me just open it up so as you can see this is actually you know seven by five so it takes up the whole thing so in this case I would embroider this out and then I'd go back and rehoop my shirt to add a name um let me see if I can show you some more so a lot of these are just let me show see if I have one with a name on it so every time I have to make a design Come on, I know I got some with names. <laughs> okay, so I just worked on this one right here, which is a 10. And this, it don't matter because the 10 is going to be in the same color, just like Starly's shirt that I made her. But now I'll have to go back in and um, do her name and add it. So that one's one that just needed a name, which I can delete because that one has already been sent out. Um, here's one. So this is one that um, was all on one um, file. So it was a five by seven. And actually, um, so I just loaded that back in my So What Pro over here. And I actually do have an order. My order sheet's out there, darn it. Um, I actually do have an order for another one with the number three and a different name. I think it was Donella. Hold on, let me check real quick. Okay, so the name is Sophie, so I just went ahead and clicked on the name and deleted it, and now I'm going to go File and Merge, and I'm going to go get that font, because I know I don't have it on my um, thing yet. Uh, that font is called Kaylee, so it don't matter which letter you click on, you can just click on any letter and open it. And it will pull it up over here. Of course, I don't want that there. I'm just going to delete that. But now I have the letter fonts opened up over here. And the name was Sophie, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. S-O-P-H-I-E. So once I get all of my letters on there... I'm doing a vlog okay um I just highlight them and then I want to I go up here and I select this alignment the little lines thing I don't know what it is so I align at the bottom and I want to adjust it by 1% that just kind of separates the letters a little bit more or they're not all stuck together of course if you wanted it more you can do more um, actually I do think I want it a little bit more so I'm gonna go back up here and do the same thing I just got done doing by 1% okay so as you see it separated my letters now I'm going to lower my P into place you just move it until you like it or whatever now I'm going to put it in the center and I do want it bigger so I'm going to go up here I'm going to go to my um, tools I'm going to resize my pattern and I want it 120% bigger 
so there we go now this three and the thing I'm gonna move her all the way up to the top so my Sophie is not touching and then depending on if you like your satin stitching thicker or not you can adjust that as well which I'm going to do up here I'll give you guys a tutorial I know I'm not doing this very good but just to give you some ideas of what the Sew Up Pro can do um, this is the density and this is the pull compensation so um, I have it at four and three actually I'm gonna drop this one down to two and this one down to two uh, this is 1.02 and this is 0.2 so I'm going to say okay, I'm going to take you over here, you're going to watch it go plump, it plumped up, if you couldn't tell. Um, and then that was that one, and I'm going to file, save as, and I'm going to rename it S-O-P, you can name it whatever you want. Oh, it doesn't fit. Do I want it in a larger hoop? Nope. I'm going to make that sucker fit. <laughs> Sometimes if it says that, you just got to center it up so it will fit. There it goes. All right, we saved it. We're all good. Anyway, guys, that's just a little bit of what you can do with Sew Up Pro. Um, I merged my number three with this design here and then added the name. So now it's all on one um, frame, one hoop. And that's that. And it saved on my thing. So I have to get to work.